And now on to other developments. The Antigua and Barbuda Intellectual Property and Commerce Office and the World Intellectual Property Organization, WIPO, are hosting a two-day workshop at the Tradewinds Hotel. The forum is focusing on the enforcement of intellectual property rights for judiciary and law enforcement officials in Antigua and Barbuda. Elisa Graham has the details in this report. The first day of the workshop is specifically designed for high court judges from across the OECS region, while the second day will be attended by magistrates, prosecutors, and other members of the legal fraternity. The workshop seeks to enhance the skill and knowledge level of the participants necessary to provide fair, efficient, consistent handling and adjudication of intellectual property cases. Feature speaker at the opening ceremony, Attorney General Justin Salmon QC, is happy with the wide range of participants from across the region and describes the value of the sessions. The emphasis of this two-day workshop will be on enhancing the skills and knowledge of law enforcement officials to allow for the fair, efficient and consistent adjudication of intellectual property cases. Today, the focus will be on our High Court judges and our master, and tomorrow's session will be devoted to our prosecutors and industry officials. Intellectual property, IP, is a term referring to a number of distinct types of creations of the mind for which a set of exclusive rights are recognized under the corresponding fields of law. Under IP law, owners are granted certain exclusive rights to a variety of intangible assets such as musical, literary and artistic works, discoveries and inventions, and words, phrases, symbols and designs. Simon details the necessity for persons to be knowledgeable about IP. And we need to educate our people in the role and significance of intellectual property. Protecting these property rights must therefore be a priority. And your practical involvement in giving life to that protection is of course a necessary priority. The Attorney General adds that his office is continuously seeking to modernize the IP laws in the Twin Island states and to establish a functional intellectual property and commerce office. For ABS News, Elisa Graham reporting.